Hello, today I will show you how to achieve a long-range connectivity with S12P on Sigfox network. So, I am Victor Royan, part of ST Limier RF application support team based in Rennes, in France. First, I will show you what I need to complete my demonstration. We will need our S12P evaluation board named STEVAL FKY868B2. S12P is an RF transceiver state-of-the-art in terms of power consumption and RF performances. On the other side, we need a Blue Energy-2 evaluation board named STEVAL YDD008B2. It contains, of course, a Blue Energy-2 chipset to add BLD connectivity to your application, but also some environmental sensors. So, adding BLE connectivity to your Sigfox application means that you can run both simultaneously the BLE stack and the Sigfox stack. You have to know that Sigfox stack is also available for different STM32 family. At the end of this demonstration, I will show you that you can easily push a data from Sigfox to a specific dashboard. Here we will use the ST dashboard named Dashboard Asset Tracking Solution. When using it, we can retrieve plots, environmental sensors, but also map geolocalization. So before completing the full demonstration, let's talk a bit about Sigfox. Sigfox is a global LP1, low power wide area network. Actually, ST do provide scalable silicon solutions to operate on Sigfox network. With S12P, for instance, you will be able to send a 12 bytes message to the Sigfox base station. Sigfox is also providing a geolocalization feature. Using triangulation system, it permits to track and to detect the localization of your device. The Sigfox geolocalization accuracy is under 1 km in town and under 10 km in rural zone. Of course, everything depends on the Sigfox coverage. As you may know, Sigfox is divided in different RC zones to match local radio regulations. For instance, to communicate in Europe, you will need to match the RC1 radio regulation and to communicate in the United States, for instance, you will need to match the RC2 radio regulation. Hopefully, S12P is Sigfox certified for all RC zones, and S12P is also certified for Monarch feature. Monarch feature is a Sigfox service that lets the device automatically support worldwide mobility. Monarch features is based on gateway beacon signals to identify RC zones. Then, a Monarch device will adapt itself to the right radio regulation zone. So now, let's complete the full demonstration. As you can see, we have a BLE mesh network composed of three Blue Energy-2 evaluation boards and of one gateway based on Blue Energy-2 and S12P. Using the ST BLE mesh app phone, we can toggle the blue LED of each device connected to this mesh network. The gateway does run simultaneously both mesh and Sigfox stack. When doing a specific external event, for instance pushing the button, it will send a 12 bytes message on Sigfox network. This message contains emulated sensors value as temperature, pressure and humidity. I have pre-configured my Sigfox backend following the instructions available on ST dashboard asset tracking. So now, Sigfox is pushing each data to the ST dashboard. Then, I will be able to retrieve my data on the cloud using plots and maps to display my device information. You must know that ST do provide a full and complete ecosystem for asset tracking. First, you can run your tracking application based on STM32 series or Blue Energy family. Regarding Sigfox connectivity, S12P is a must-have and you can directly match your antenna with an ST balloon. You can also improve the Sigfox positioning system by adding the TZO GPS module from ST. Regarding battery management, you can use the DC-DC converter ST1-PS01. 
You can also add a secure element, stsafe, to secure some specific data, or even SIGFORCE credentials. At the end, you will need motion and environmental sensors to track your device, as temperature or humidity if you are tracking sensitive assets as food, pressure sensor that can detect land-on or take-off procedure, or even accelerometer to analyze any specific movement. So now, I believe that you can start your own asset tracking application. Just one information you need to know is that ST has developed a function pack for asset tracking for Sigforce. It permits to track your assets with whole ST ecosystem. It contains all the drivers for S12P, Bluetooth, GPS, motion and environmental sensors. To conclude this video, you can also extend your own application with PLC technology. Then, using G3 hybrid technology will permit you to switch from PLC to RF or to RF to PLC to have a stronger communication. Actually, an hybrid demo is already working. You can find a full demonstration video in resources of this exhibition. I hope now it is clearer for you on how to achieve a long-range connectivity with S12P and Sigfox network. Do not hesitate to check the G3 hybrid demonstration. The video is in resources and available. Otherwise, goodbye and thank you.